my parents are gonna flip. Uh, <laughs> I'm a little nervous right now. Oh boy, you guys are crazy. This is gonna be fun. This is a very important question. Does size matter? I've never been intimate with a guy and got to the point where I was like, oh my gosh, you're too big or oh my gosh, you're too small. I mean, it's you are who you are and I think you gotta end up like, you know, figuring out and just have fun. For me, size doesn't matter. That won't be everyone. I don't know, I think it's more about the intimacy that you share with someone. How do you figure out who's topping or bottoming and do you ask beforehand? I do ask beforehand, but I do it in a very unusual way. I ask people if they prefer to be big or little spoon. I don't ask beforehand. Oftentimes, I'm like super surprised at what happens in the bedroom and what people like. Does it hurt to bottom? It can hurt if the person is too big, if there's not enough lube used. People also say it's the responsibility of the top to prepare the bottom so that it doesn't hurt as much, get them more relaxed. It may hurt for the first two or three minutes, uh, but after that, it's pretty okay. How do you prepare yourself if you're bottoming? You have to take your body signals into consideration. Like if you just had a lot of greasy foods. I'll stick with things that are going to kind of help you relieve yourself, fruits, vegetables, soups. You can feel if your stomach is like backed up. You'll kind of know whether or not it's going to be a good situation or not. There are gonna be times when you have sex with somebody and you get shit in your dick. And it is okay, it's a natural process. It might freak you out. Do not make them feel bad. Is there a technique to topping for anal sex? Don't just like plunge yourself into someone. Like that is, that's a no-no. That's gonna be a huge turn off. And taking your time, making sure that they're aware of where you are, you're aware of where you are. A guy has a prostate, which a prostate is like your little fun area in your butt. And if you hit that prostate correctly, then the bottom can have the most amazing orgasm ever. Because I will say that the best sex is when the other person is being pleased to their liking. Because when you know that they're being pleased, you can be pleased as well. Do you ever compromise and top or bottom when you don't normally? It's not a really big problem because I like to do both. Initially, when I first came out, I was really dead set on being a top. And I think one of my biggest hangups was just kind of uh, gender roles and masculinity. Does being versatile or being a bottom, does that in encroach in my masculinity? Ultimately, no. How often do you get tested if you're sexually active? I get tested every couple months because some STIs don't show up on tests right away. There can be weeks or sometimes even months in between the time a person and gets infected and when they will show positive on a test. There's lots of STIs that sometimes you don't even have any symptoms. I get tested every three months. I am on PrEP or I'm on Truvada, so it is an HIV preventative drug. And one of the big things about that is that even when you're on it, you are required to get your blood tested and everything every three months. That is a really, really great way of me knowing my status, knowing how I am. How do you know if the other guy has been tested and how would you go about asking him? If you don't know if a person has been tested and they've not told you, then ask. And be willing then to, to also share your experiences with being tested. I will say no matter what, even if you ask somebody, you're not positive about their answer. I mean, just be cautious and think anytime you go into a sexual situation that somebody could have anything, unless you see the paperwork and unless you see the proof, you're really not gonna know. And what's the most important thing about sex? To be really connected with someone else and to have that energy and that passion I think that's the most important thing with sex. Something that's important about sex is consent and communication. By consent, I mean whether or not you truly want to go through the act of having sex and what kind of sex you want to have with someone, or if they want to have sex with you and what sort of sex they, they want to have. Read people's body language a lot. People aren't always verbal about things. They may be a little cautious, they may be a little wary, but just take in mind other people's actions. Your gay sex is your gay sex and it's beautiful. There's a space for you regardless of what you like or what you don't like. Just have fun, enjoy.